walking into court to face a judge about I-77 speed camera tickets, not drivers. But the mayor of Newburgh Heights and lawyers. For a second time, a judge found Newburgh Heights breaking the law and how the village is issuing camera tickets. So Judge Deborah Nicastro called a hearing demanding an explanation. And we've never had problems like this. We take full responsibility. The company processing the camera tickets said, our fault. Census Gatso blaming an employee for sending out an old form with thousands of tickets. Confusion as the company worked to file a backlog of old tickets. The court says Newburgh Heights first broke the law not filing tickets, then sending out notices telling drivers to pay fines directly to the village or camera company and more. The court fed up drivers too. They don't do it the right way. I guess I don't understand why I have to do it the right way. Uh, like I said, I've, I've got no way to fight it. How could this company be so sloppy? to send out thousands of tickets incorrectly. Yeah, I don't agree with your characterization. We asked the camera company about the judge uncovering a mess with I-77 camera tickets. Why did it take a judge to make you guys correct this? We were only made aware of it by the court. How can the public be assured you're going to fix it when it took a judge to tell you to fix it this time? It's a very limited uh, error. Peggy, right? Yes, Peggy. Okay. For weeks, the Newburgh Heights mayor has refused to talk to us. Here, she complained we had questioned her before a Memorial Day parade, and she wouldn't answer questions unless we apologized. We are here about the traffic then tickets. We don't have a conversation. The, the, have police a chief, the police chief said that he was asking for a... He was asking for protection. The first time the court found Newburgh Heights breaking the law, ticketing drivers, the judge threatened to throw the mayor and police chief in jail. Then the village and its camera company turned in thousands of tickets that had not been filed, and the village paid $25,000 in court fees. This time the judge ordered the hearing, demanding officials from the village and officials from the camera company explain why they shouldn't be punished. She also ordered both the village and the camera company to follow the law. This is not just a money-making for profit process. Here, Judge Nicastro pointed out she's concerned about highway speeders. But if Newburgh Heights can't get this right, she'll order the speed cameras turned off. There has to be a consequence if this continues. Um, and that consequence will be a moratorium in Newburgh Heights. In Garfield Heights, Peggy Gallick. Ed Gallick, Fox 8, I-Team.